Give me a break. Get off my neck. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another week of Vlogmas. Please ignore, like, everywhere is just the best right now, okay? Today is Monday, um, the 9th of December, and it's 10.42 a.m. right now. Um, firstly, before we start, I just want to say thank you for all the love on my first Vlogmas video. Secondly, what I want to point out is the mess that is my room. It's complete and utter chaos. Like, literally, everything is scattered. Everything is all over the place. Everything is everywhere. And I just hope that you guys can appreciate me being real with you instead of trying to make out, like, everything is perfect 24-7. It is not. But right now, the state of my room reflects my mental state right now and everything that's going on in my head. I'm looking positively glowing today. Am I? I don't know. Shout out in the comments if I am. I mean, my wig is laid. I'm actually wearing clothes and not just my shitty house clothes. I've even got earrings on. So, you know, I look somewhat put together, but my life is not put together right now. I had the weekend from hell. The day I put that camera down, <clears throat> literally the day I put the camera down, and you guys will understand this reference in a bit, Things just went tits up. The devil tried it and this weekend he won. Sorry, the sun is going in and out if the lighting gets weird. So I had my laptop in my hand open like this and I had multiple things in this hand as well as my vlog camera. So I came out upstairs, put my laptop down on my bed. As I put my laptop down on my bed, this hand kind of opened accidentally, purposely. I don't know what's going on. This, kind, this hand kind of opened and everything in this hand kind of fell on my bed. So I thought it was calm because it's falling on my bed, only to see that my vlog camera, which was, I think was open, I'm not even sure, literally fell onto my laptop screen because like I said, it was open when I brought it upstairs and smashed the screen. When I tell you that I didn't even believe I didn't even believe what was going on. I looked on my screen. I said no. I even rubbed it guys I rubbed the screen because I was like, no, that didn't just happen. Can you guys see that? Can you guys actually see that? <laughs> I just don't even have any words. I literally tweeted like I'm tired of this positivity crap Like I was just feeling like how am I supposed to be positive when bad things are constantly happening to me? Like how is that? How is that a positive thing? And obviously some people are sitting here thinking well like first world problems Lisa your laptop screen smashed like people don't have food to eat i get it and then i realized that in the rush of getting ready on friday i'd stepped on my straighteners and i broke them on saturday um evening i fell asleep really really early i fell asleep at like nine o'clock and so because of that reason like i woke up like in the middle of the night at like 1 a.m 1 30 a.m and i was just like oh how the hell am i gonna get back to sleep now so i had my laptop on my bed and it was propped up on a pillow because I fell asleep like watching some murder documentary like that's my shit. So I saw my laptop and I was like oh, okay let me just close it and put it away because I wanted to go back to sleep. So as I reached to go for my laptop it started sliding off the pillow when I was about to drop on the floor. And I was like fam this laptop screen is already cracked like I don't need this right now where are you going so I've reached out my hand to grab the laptop I've gone to grab the laptop it still falls anyway and it clips off my nail like literally just takes the whole thing off nails that I did on Friday by the way look at this fresh set ripped the whole thing off even partly ripped off my natural nail and I was just like what is going on like the devil is trying it and i was just like why like why 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 okay on a scale of one to ten on a richter scale right of how bad the disaster is my disaster is not like unimaginable oh my gosh i don't know what i'm gonna do in my life but it was just like, you know, when one thing after another is just happening, and it's just like, give me a break. Like, 
get off my neck i mean my nails still broken but i'm on the way to the nail shop to go and get it fixed right now and then when i come back from the nail shop i am going to sort out the world war that is my room so i'm just gonna kind of do a um time lapse and just tidy my room up with you guys and just sort everything out sorting out my wardrobe sorting out my closet sorting out all the things throwing some stuff away sorting out that wig drawer over there which is an absolute mess getting prepared for the new year so i will see you guys in a bit so guys i'm off to the nail shop i'll see you guys when i get back together because one of them is faulty so I need to send that back but these two are cool so this is what the bar stools look like they match the couch with the black and the silver I really really like them and I think today is the 10th of October actually and today is the day after yesterday <laughs> the next day keep on running that joke and you're probably gonna get tired of it it's not funny yesterday was kind of a higgy haggard kind of like all over the place kind of day so i got most of my clearing out and sorting out my life well like phase one day one or certain on my life i kind of got it done so i emptied out my wardrobe guys and when i say emptied out like bro looking at my wardrobe right now the only thing that i still have a lot of is jeans like my jeans drawer is like full to the brim but i can't help it because i wear a lot of jeans and then this morning actually i sorted out underneath my bed um where all my shoes are um where my shoe storage and all of that and i sorted out my wig drawer so i've completely emptied that and i've thrown like 12 wigs away okay 12 is a stretch like maybe 10 so i just wanted to come on here and open a parcel with you guys got a package from public desire they kindly gifted me these items but i just wanted to show you guys what i picked up so let's open this package Ta-da! so these what i've got in here are called the harlow heels or harlow shoes and they are in the color turquoise and i got them in a size six. Oh, i'm gonna like these so they're basically kind of supposed to be a dupe of the bottega veneta <laughs> i don't know why i always say it like that i'm annoying i'm very annoying so i think they're supposed to be a dupe of the bottega veneta um heels and basically i kind of fell in love with these when i saw them on makai um, makai got the blue ones from zara actually when i saw these on the public desire site i thought you know what why the hell not let me pick them up and i love the square toe square toe every day i love the color the color is definitely more summer i got these in a size six just purely because with mules 
I always size up just because I have wide feet. It's always best for me to size up in like mules. Otherwise, my feet will look really squashed. So the next pair of heels I got are called the um, Amelia. Yeah, I think so. Amelia um, heels. I got these in a size 5 and they're in a tan colour. So they're basically this tan croc leather pair of heels with this gorgeous stiletto heel. They had this in multiple colours. They had this in white, they had this in blue and I think they had this in black. But I thought the tan would just look really, really nice. And I don't actually have a tan pair of heels. They fit perfectly. They definitely blend in with my skin colour though. Because that's what I get for being yellow. Ta-da! These are a pair of boots. And I got them because basically I'd seen a very similar pair on Pretty Little Thing. And I wanted to include them in my Pretty Little Thing haul. But they sold out and they was just like not trying to come back in stock. And then I'd seen them on Raven, So Raven on Instagram. I'm going to insert a picture here. And I just kind of so fell in love with that outfit. And I kind of wanted to wear the whole outfit that's um, going to be on the screen right now. I kind of wanted to wear this outfit with like a cute little diamante headband that I've seen in like Zara. My friend Crystal was wearing one just for like a really like girly look. And they're basically these patent boots and then they've got a chunky heel and they've got like the silver rim in the front which i'm not the biggest fan of but yeah it's like a calf sock boot the pretty little thing ones had more of a round um toe these are more square but we'll see what they look like anyway and i just thought they would be really really cute oh these public desire tan heels look gorgeous Oh, they look absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, everything else I have to do today is not really vlog worthy. Hi guys, and good evening. It's definitely not the morning. So yeah, what is the time right now? The time is like 6.30 right now. And today is the 12th of December. So I last saw you guys yesterday. So right now, basically i'm waiting for my bolt to get here because i'm on my way to selfridges and i'm on my way to a fenty event y'all sorry fenty are doing a collaboration with a designer i'm not sure what designer it is i'll let you guys know when i get in my bolt i'll give you all the details but yeah so makai told me to come and i was like honey when fenty calls you go you go you go, okay, you go. I just finished getting ready. I need to go and rub baby oil on my legs. But apart from that, I am pretty much ready. I'm just waiting for the Uber. I had to put a last minute outfit together. So I'm wearing this denim corset from Revolve. I need to hurry up and go and rub baby oil on my legs and then I'll be back. Vlogging from really like not nice ankles, ankles, angles.
Yeah, try on, try on. Lee. It's one size. It's one size. Why would it be one size? Just random size. I don't care. No, this jacket. <laughs> wow. Hi guys. Let me just pause this. Today is the 13th of September or the 12th. September the 13th of December. I'm not sure what day it is. I haven't really been with you guys much today because I've just been busy up on my feet just up and down. So firstly I went to a vote. I went to my polling station first thing this morning. I hope you voted correctly. I hope I don't have to tell you who to vote for. I hope y'all made the right decision okay if you want to live that is basically on the way to some birthday drinks tyra um it's her birthday drinks today it's her birthday today so yeah we're supposed to be going to the london cocktail club so yeah i'm just waiting for crystal i think she's basically almost ready and then we're gonna be on our way so i'm gonna vlog with you guys today so yeah i will see you guys in a bit <music> afternoon guys how are you all doing so basically today is friday um, yesterday i went to tyra's birthday drinks it was really fun until i basically got the worst migraine ever i had this like sharp it wasn't even a throbbing pain it was such a sharp constant pain on this side of my head so yeah i had to leave and I went home a bit earlier than I would have usually. I just really wasn't feeling well at all. Like, in fact, I went home and I got home and I was going to the kitchen to try and get some paracetamol. And I literally, like, dropped on the floor and crying because the migraine was that bad. Like, it really, really hurt. So, I mean, um, I should probably go to the GP about that but like well who knows now probably have to pay like 200 pounds for a gp appointment <laughs> tory britain and then this morning i woke up and i was just like extremely anxious like you know that feeling that you get when you're in a car and you go over like a hill or like a really big bump and you get that that stomach dropping feeling i had that this morning but constantly like it just wouldn't go away and i couldn't figure out what i was anxious about i ended up breaking out into non-stop sobbing and i was just crying i just had no idea why i was crying and i couldn't put put my finger on it i feel better than i did earlier this morning but i just still feel really weird and out of it so right now i'm watching can't pay take it away while editing this vlog so yeah i'm supposed to be going to winter wonderland with my mates today um but i don't know whether i'm gonna make it i just messaged the rangers now i'm like i don't know whether i'm gonna come today because i'm just not 
I'm not feeling well at all and my body just feels really weak and limp like I'm able to stand up but it just feels like I should be sitting down I just don't feel good at all I don't know what it is if I do end up going out later today um, to winter wonderland then i'll vlog that for you guys but if i don't i apologize in advance and yeah this is where i'm gonna end the vlog if that's the case but i think today just needs to be one of those days where i just need to stay inside and just you know watch a ton of netflix and just have some snacks and sleep early and then tomorrow saturday i'm gonna have a chill day as well i'm not gonna go anywhere because pretty much i've been out and about every day since tuesday i think it's maybe like taking a toll i don't know what it is so if i don't go out later today then i'm ending the vlog here and thank you guys for tuning in to vlogmas week two um i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next week for vlogmas again bye guys